I am Michelle McPherson, and this is The Michelle McPherson Show, the only internet marketing podcast dedicated to answering your burning business questions. Find us and submit your own questions at fromideatoempire.com. And now for today's episode. Hi, Michelle. Uh, you mentioned uh, on your short video on blog farms and backlinks that one of the methods that you use to get your backlinks is uh, commenting. You mentioned a few others, but you also indicated that you don't do that using any kind of service. You, you have it all being done manually or by hand. And I wanted to ask you, in the commenting, um, do you do the comments yourself or do you have someone else do them for you? And if you have someone else do them for you, do they leave the comment on your behalf or they, do they leave the comment on their own behalf? Uh, but still sending a link back to you. And by the way, your hair, your short hair looks great. Hey Stan, great question. Actually, we were discussing that inside the Renegade Startup the other day too, so it's timely. Um, so what we do, it's kind of different whether it is a internet marketing kind of site or whether it is a niche site. My internet marketing business, obviously, I am the face of that business. and. Um, a lot of what I'm doing in this business as Michelle McPherson is of course being an expert in the industry. So it wouldn't make sense for me to have um, staff comment on my behalf in this industry because they wouldn't be the expert that I am and so they wouldn't be able to speak in my voice and with my knowledge as much as I personally can. Um, at the same time, given that it is the internet marketing slash SEO world, it's also a really bad idea to run around comment spamming, spamming when you have, um, whether it's in your own name or your staff, um, when you have an internet marketing business, right? It's pretty easy to get caught up in people calling you out or even Google noticing. So we don't do any of that stuff in the internet marketing side of my business. Um, if I choose to leave a comment on somebody else's blog, then I do in my own name, of course, but we don't actually have any active blog commenting campaigns within the internet marketing business side of things. Within the niche side of things, um, we do. And the staff will go and leave comments and they may use a pseudonym or they may use a name that we have given to the, you know, uh, a pseudonym for the owner of the site or they may just use um, random names that they make up as they leave comments. Uh, all comments that we do leave, however, are genuine. This, they are expected to have read the blog post. They are expected to actually be saying something interesting and helpful. Um, we don't do any keywords in our blog comments or anything like that. Uh, so the site owner cannot differentiate what we're doing between genuine comments because in fact they are genuine comments. The only difference being that the person who's leaving them happens to be making a salary when they do so, but there is no other um, SEO type factors involved in the comments that we leave that can make them appear spammy. And in that way we get a higher approval rate and we get better engagement rates with those comments that we are leaving. So I hope that that answers your question, Stan. Thanks so much. And for those of you watching, please head on over to fromideatoempire.com to submit your questions.